So you want me to put my jacket on? Okay, let's have Put you. the computer down, put my jacket on, put my sunglasses on, and exit. I'm Lynn Slater, and I'm also known as the accidental icon. I am a professor and a cultural influencer. I was starting to feel a little bit frustrated in how I could express myself creatively in academia. So cool. People would say to me, you have amazing style, you should start a blog. I said, well, I know how to write, I'm a professor, and my partner, Calvin, is a photographer. Maybe I'll do a blog, and I'll use that blog as a way of researching and investigating a topic I really like, which is fashion. Like a beauty shot here, it could be amazing. I fell in love with fashion when I was three years old. There was a older woman who lived in the building I was living in as a child, and she was a brilliant seamstress. Every week I would have a new dress. I realized clothing can be used to convey different personas, different aspects of who you are. I would read a book and I would fall in love with a character and then I would go create an outfit that I thought would make me be like that character. Wow. I think this one is my favorite. It captured that sort of soft fierceness. It's just a perfect photograph. Ah. Chin up a little bit. Great. Love. I've always been someone who's pushed back against the status quo. I trust my own self enough that if I want to do it and I think it's the right thing to do, I'm going to do it, even if experts and everyone else in the world is telling me don't do that. Be authentic and be yourself, period. It's the one piece of advice that holds true in every circumstance. <laughs> Always we have to keep that. Yeah, we will. That's going to be in Balance all our school. newsletters. That's how we end with them. <laughs> in terms of next steps for my business, I always remember, why are you doing this? It's to be creative and to always keep evolving. Amazing. Right there. That's our spot. I keep thinking about, I would love to do a magazine. And I do think more and more that people are looking for content on their phone. And so I decided to do a newsletter with GoDaddy and really think of it as my little magazine. Held it. That was amazing. What I would like my readers, my lookers, my followers to feel and see when they see my newsletter, I would like them to have the feeling I have when I see something that's visually exciting, or I read a really well-crafted sentence and I just go, ugh, gorgeous. I create my own style and I put it out there with GoDaddy.